Flick isn't here right now, he's been replaced by the Lord of Death. Hello everybody! I told you I was going to farm the hell out of Gormagala off camera, and I did! Now it's actually interesting, you can't get his boots of his set until you get access to a new area that we haven't done yet, either online or offline. However, I got one of my subscribers who does have access to the Harvest Tour of the Final Era to let me jump in so I could get the Remobra bits I need, which is just a small generic monster, you know, like Slagtoss, etc. So I could finish the whole set. So this is the completed Gormagala set, and also Gormagala Insect Glaive, which you've seen on all the thumbnails so far in the drawing the Grinning Owl did of my character. So this set gives you Challenger plus one. Also, excuse the phone in the background there. Challenger plus one, it's the same as what it was in 3U, when the monster goes into rage mode, so do I. So you get better crit rate and also increased attack. It also has Bio Researcher, this is a bit of a weird one. So, it makes your dung bombs more efficient. It prevents status effects that prevent item usage. In other words, like when you get pooed upon. And also you have Blast Blight, that is a big one. That is protection against explosion damage from the likes of Brachydeos. So that is nice, and health plus 20 is just from the talisman I put in, so that's it. It's a good set, it's got more defense, I think two more per bit than the spider set. And it has some points towards handicraft but not enough to get anywhere close. And oh yes, I had a negative on it, it had fire resist minus 20 but I got rid of that fast. So there we go, that's what we're going to use today and then today I'm going to go after the Kezu. And you may hear an ice cream van in the background. Apparently I'm just getting interrupted by everything today, expect Maya to bark soon and then my phone to go, then maybe the door. Is it a cap Kezu or is it a fight? I keep forgetting. Let me just double check here. Oh, it's just Hunt. Fantastic. Good. We'll just go kick his ass then. Now I have a bit of a story about Kezu that I'll tell as we get going here. But to go back to Gormagala for a second, I was having pretty decent luck with plates, believe it or not. I got one off a carve from his tail when I was after tails, typically. Also, I'm going to eat for defense because of something Kezu does. And we want thunder defense because this set doesn't actually have great thunder defense naturally. I also got a plate off a shiny that dropped after I knocked him out of Super Rage Farm once, which was quite funny. I was having the most trouble getting feelers, which is what I call as horns, but apparently they're feelers, so you know, whatever. Do I want anything else with me? Oops, I accidentally accepted the quest, so I sure hope not. But yeah, it wasn't that bad. I had to kill maybe, or cap, maybe like, say, 10 Gormagala in total? Nah, eh, maybe a bit more than that. But anyway, yeah, we're in the frosty place. Now, I believe that Kezu is in area 6, but I could be wrong about that. So we also want hot drink. Oh, actually, is the blimp around? Nah. Alright, well, we can't wave and find out for sure. Let's just go explore. This armor makes really weird noises when you run in it, incidentally. I'll be quiet for a second, just so you can kind of hear it. Isn't that weird? <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, Kezu was the first thing that killed me when I was playing Freedom Unite. And the reason he killed me in Freedom Unite is because, well, for one, he has terrible hitboxes, as most things do in that game. He has a combo that can one-shot you, where you par he paralyzes you, you fall to the floor, and then he belly flops on you. And if the belly flop hits you while you're paralyzed, it seems to do quadruple damage for no reason apart from to kill you. It's incredibly unfair. He still does that combo in this. I didn't die to him at all when I was playing through 4, but it still does a lot of scary damage. So it's something to be aware of. If you've got the choice between getting hit and getting shocked or evading and not doing any damage, pick evade. He's also a bit more agile this time around as well. Apparently I'm scrounging on the floor. It's a nice view of my badass red Gormagala armour though. It's above you. Never mind, no it's not. Kezu incidentally is basically a dick on legs. The precursor to Giganox perhaps, which is partially why I despise him as well, most likely. Whee! Yeah, he loves climbing on walls, which is why it gave you bounce bombs. Although, to be honest, getting a bounce bomb to hit takes more time and effort than it was worth. Alright, we're straight into the fight. He also loves to scream over and over and over. Yeah, I, I know you're there. You know that I know, right? You, you shot my cat! Get your ass down here! I don't want green buff, I want a him. Apparently that missed. 
Alright, fine, I'll use the bloody bounce bombs, Jesus. Oh, then you jump down. Yeah, that's the noise he loves making. He has a new move. Compared to Freedom Unite, anyway. Maybe it was his G-Rank move in that, I don't know. Yeah, that's one of his main moves. For sure. You're going to see that one a lot. I really don't want green <laughs> buff from you. Yeah, he has one where he imbues himself with lightning. I think it's mostly during his rage form, though. Oh, that's what I want. A little disappointed that caught me when it went past me, but whatever. I don't want yellow, uh, white. I want red. Give me red. Well, I need that as well, but give me red. <laughs> Thank you. Right, now we can start kicking his ass a little bit. He's going to leap forward probably or do his attack. All right, that's, the, that's his easiest attack to avoid, and it gives you the biggest opening to actually deal damage. Yeah, he did not like that. Yep, he loves doing neck stretches. It's good for the neck muscles. That's a mount. Although he might be too close to the wall, I might get knocked off straight away. Are you... No, that's, that was a thrash. I thought it was. Right, if he roars, I should be fine. I'm pretty sure he has his uh, low-quality roar. Oh, I'm entirely correct. Uh, incorrect, rather, but it doesn't matter. Good. Now let's start breaking you. I'm going to trigger his first rage for sure, so you'll, if you're not familiar with how Challenger Plus One works, on my wrist you will see a red light appear. That means that the monster's raging, so I get my buffs. Also, when Kezu goes into rage, in this one anyway, he glows with electricity. Like that. Oh, wait, no, that's his, that's his new attack. That's the one I forgot about. Oh, lost my buffs. There, yeah, that's his other new thing. He just kind of walks around, shocking you, and then he does a charge that shocks you. Luckily, he's also blind. And I mean literally, he has no eyes. That was me being stupid. That could have hurt a lot. So now I don't have the... Oh, I looked down at the map. <laughs> now I don't have the spider armor. I've got no way of knowing when he's near death other than looking for the usual signs. Here comes his rage. Yeah. You do it again. He doesn't give you much time to evade if you've started attacking at the point he does one of his charged up attacks. That's what makes him a pain. But he's not nearly as bad as he was in Freedom Unite. That was just god awful. I could go for another mount, I suppose, but he's a bit close to the wall again. Leave the cats alone. It's my job to hit them. Kept myself in there a bit longer there, just in case I was under where his lightning was going to land. No, 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 you mean? No, 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 no. That <sighs> wasn't a mount, it was a stun, though. What's he doing? I'm not familiar with the Kezus I'm spying. Um, hmm. Well, my insect just knocked him over, so whatever, I'll just go for damage then. I'm going to need to sharpen real soon. Get out of there. I don't know where I was hitting before to get orange. Is it his back legs? No, that's white. His, his actual back, perhaps, or his wings. He seems to have a vindictive hatred against... Victor, for whatever reason. No, it's not his back. I'm pretty sure I hit his back there. Oh, I was going to use the bombs and he ducked down again straight away. Oh, well that's actually reminded me. Um, that was some bullshit right there, but whatever. Gormagala has a windswept combo that's literally impossible to avoid taking damage on unless you have immunity to windswept where he will blow you back and then while you're still stuck in animation he will shoot you and it's literally unavoidable thankfully it doesn't do a terrible amount of damage assuming you're not affected by the virus which I have yet to be in this game I think in the demo I was but not in this one anyway kids was moving I forgot to paint bombs it's a good job that I saw which way he went I imagine he's not got much fight left in him to be honest 
and Thunderblight should wear off pretty soon. I'm lucky he didn't do his belly flop. Where's he at? Oh. There's he at! It's just kind of sniffing. Alright, well. Ah, right, it's his naughty bits where you get orange from. Oh. Uh, uh. Have at it, Bouncy Bomb! Holy shit, I think I hit him! Oh, no, I didn't. Take that! God, the explosion from those things is pathetic. That wasn't enough to get him down? Oh, it was. It just took a little while. Okay. Must remember he dropped a shiny there when he did his, like, goop thing from the ceiling. I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to limp off now, to be honest. That's him going into rage. Yep, he's limping. What do we get here? Wyvern tier. Ooh, and a Burbara carve. Yeah! Could also get a Kunchu one if I wanted, but nah. Yeah, he just goes next door to sleep. If we're fast enough, he won't b bother trying to get onto the wall, but... Oh, he makes a horrible noise when he's almost dead. Oh, he's raging! Yep, yeah, there's my challenger plus one buff. And that's the one I wanted. Oh, Zamites, get out of here. Oh, look, they get stunned by it as well. Although they recover faster than me, annoyingly. Not a good place to be. First Kezu and then them. Not a good place to stand under him directly either, because if he starts doing an attack, you're not going to get out of there in time. I'm amazed that worked, quite frankly, because he was charged up. Right, so he does two thrashes in a row, right? Sit down. And, yeah, I, I suspected as much. Good! Meow, 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 meow. Shut up, cats! I'm glad Kezu smacked you around. Right, Pale Extract, in other words, the thing the Gignox dropped in Monster Hunter 3. You. And Flabby Heights, which is what I needed for the villager request. I need three of them. But I actually got one from... Where did I get one from? I got one from, but I, I haven't fought Kezu yet. Or online, so... I got it from a reward by sending someone in the guild hall, I think. But I thought you could only send people on hunts you've already done. Hmm. I don't know. I'm almost certain I had one already, though. Sorry, it is up. So Kezu's stuff, I should have killed Kezu a long time ago, we got access to him quite a while ago, it's just I don't like him, so that's why I didn't bother. Too closely associated with the Giganox. Also, oh, I was going to kick him in the face. Never mind. That didn't take very long either, so we could probably knock out one of those double monster quests that we've had sitting around for quite a while as well. There's a double spider one, and then a Kongalala and a Gendrome, I think? The spiders might take a little bit longer because of how agile they are. That should be the first Kezu on the scoreboard. It is indeed. Oh good, he'll turn up in Everwood. I'm so excited. I'll save. I can't remember who gave us that quest, if it's connected to unlocking something or upgrading something. I guess we'll find out as we go back. Although it could have been back in the cat village, actually. Let's quickly teleport to the cat village via Sun Snug I.O. in case Plesioth is around. And we'll see if we have to speak to anybody. Maybe it was the cowardly cat. Nobody in here. Plesioth not there. Alright, out here then. Looking at the lower screen. Mm, nope. Well, we can just take the next hunt from here as well, so... Let me just double check here quickly. 
Oh, you are done. Yay, another pumpkin! That's what I'm after. Place request. I don't really know what I'm still after, to be honest. I've got quite a big stockpiling of everything. That'll do. Right, nothing new in there. Village of Quest, that's what we wanted. Alright, so this will upgrade my fish. Done. Good! Do we need to talk to the chef now? We do not. Alright, let's have a little look at those multi quests. I want to clear all four star now that we're into five star. That's the main goal. So in four star left, we have that and that. Oh, it's two gypseros. Ugh. It's going to be a bit of a pain either way. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do? I could like do both them in the same video, I suppose. What's in five star that we haven't done yet? Oh, just the Gravios. <laughs> All right. Well, what's in Everwood then? A Gypseros, a Tetracabra, you could also maybe get Switch Axes, Charge Blades and Insect Glaives. It's not unstable and there's no treasure area. Let's go to Everwood, just to keep this video a little bit short. I'll do both those double monster quests next time to knock out all of four star. It's just, they might take a little bit of a while because sp spiders are agile, the Gypseros flies around all over the place. Uh, no, we don't want that, we're just mostly going to be doing... Yeah. We're just going to be doing some quick gathering to see if we can get any uber insect glaives, like the uber gun lance I got recently. I have tried since off camera, and all I've got is armor bits which have been terrible. So yeah, let's head into Everwood. Do I want to fight the Gypsers or the Tetscabra? No. So we'll just see what we can find, and there's no Pookie either. It warns you about that as well. Poor Pookie. The two best Pookie costumes are Ninja and Devil Joe. I'm not sure if you get them from here, but that's definitely the two best costumes I've seen them in. Yeah, so all we're really looking for is mining spots to desperately try and get a battered weapon or armor. I want weapon because I would love some kind of super insect glaive just to have a little look at. Oh, also finding some more abrasives to repair relics, that'd be handy too. You know what would make that system a lot less annoying? If you could hand in unrepaired stuff, stuff that's still rusted that you don't want for one abrasive, even if it's just one. That would be so much better and a lot less grindy. And I know a lot of the game is about the grind, but there's fun grind, like fighting giant monsters over and over, and then there's crappy grind, like going to Everwood all the time and just mining. That's not fun dozens of time over in a row. I do also have a gathering set that I should have changed to. I kind of expanded my egg set, so it was also really good at gathering. But oh well. Is there any other mining spots in here? There is not. Move on then. Uh, which way are we going? This way. One of the monsters will be in here, most likely. Do we see anything? Well, I see bits to mine. Oh, thieving cats as well. Let's just kill them so they don't get in my way. Or let's miss. And then hit them. Dragon element is very, very powerful this early in the game. Ugh, I always get tiny spalls. They're just good for money or giving to the veggie elder, I think. Yeah. Account items. Bad at that. Hang on, where's the exit of this place? I came in from there. The exit is right next to it. No monster here either. That is surprising, actually. But I'm not complaining. Come on, battered weapon. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Damn it. I mean, you can kind of hang around and hope that mining... Oh, something just arrived. I got... Yeah, no, Gypseros. Quite a big one as well, actually. Yeah, it's a bit on the large side. Can't mine this, can we? No. I'll be killing two of you next time. I don't need you right now. Don't be the exit. Excellent. Good. I like it where there's more rooms to explore. Don't you dare, can't you? I saw you. Wow, 
Wow, two hits, is that it? Oh. Well, there's at least one more bet here I can mine. No sign of a Titsukabra. It's not necessarily on the map until the Gypsyrus dies. Sometimes they both are, but not always. And because the area isn't unstable, I believe that means there's no chance of anything else appearing. At all. Screw you, Conchu. I mean, why bother? You, you wouldn't win. Now you're just going to die. Was that worth it? Was it? Was it though? And now I'm going to steal your insides and make a necklace out of them. Right in the groin. Is that a mining point in the distance? No, that is a plant. Meh. I suspect that the next area connected to this will just be the exit. I don't want it to be. But it might be. So that means that this was kind of like a pointless endeavour. I apologise for that. I was honestly hoping that we'd find a battered weapon and it turned out to be amazing. It's very rare that I actually spot that it's insect glaives that you can get. It tells you on the lower screen instantly what weapons you have a chance of finding. All the time. Yeah, this will be the exit. Damn! Right, what are you going to give me for that tiny spell? Life Kratos is, is, is okay, I guess. I like the view here as well. It's pretty nice. But yeah, we'll cut, keep this part short, rather, and next time I will do the two Nursilla hunt and the two Gypsaros hunt. Which sounds like pure hell, especially because now I'm not immune to sleep. But that's okay, we should do fine. And if I want to cap them, actually, I will change back to the spider armour. But either way, I hope you enjoyed, and as we exit the hunt here, doing essentially nothing, not getting any of the good stuff, I will say thank you very much for watching and for your support on the series thus far. Every comment, like, and view means a lot, and helps me know that you want to keep watching this. And on that subject, if you have just found my channel through this video, do consider subscribing if you want to see daily gaming stuff. My name has been Flick. Next time we're going to go on a killing spree with two double monster hunts. See you then. Ta-ta. For now.